Anastasia and today we are going to go over the ribbon embroidery attachment for the brand new Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2. This is the only machine in the home sewing industry that has this amazing ribbon embroidery attachment. So I am so excited to start embellishing garments with it. If you're not already subscribed to Sew Anastasia, make sure you hit the notification bell and the subscription button so you can see all the other videos that I put out. So you can use ribbon embroidery a lot of different ways, especially in garment design. So I bought this piece of fabric the other day and it has ribbon embroidery on the entire hem of the piece of fabric. So they've done an embroidery with thread and then they've ribbon embroidered around the outside of it. I'm loving this as an inspiration and I would love to start putting ribbon embroidery designs on the hems of dresses and skirts. I think it's a great way to utilize the ribbon embroidery designs within the machine. So putting them on the hems of dresses and skirts I think is an awesome idea. I also think these would be really fun to put on throw pillows, to put on the top of a blouse, maybe on the sleeve going down. There are so many different things you can do with these ribbon embroideries. Their creativity is endless. So now we're gonna set up the ribbon embroidery attachment and we're going to embroider out an embroidery of a ribbon. So cool. Okay, so when you get your ribbon embroidery attachment, it's gonna come in a box like this. And when you open it up, it's gonna be secured in this foam for protection. And then here's our magical ribbon embroidery spaceship unit. Doesn't it look just like a spaceship? So we're gonna take it out and it's gonna look something like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we have to load the ribbon embroidery attachment with your selected color of ribbon. So it already comes with this white ribbon on it, but we're gonna take it off and we're gonna put pink on. So to take the hoop off, we're gonna take this and push it up and it's gonna click. And now we can take this white hoop out and you can see the ribbon. So you can go ahead and just take all the ribbon off. Okay, and now we're gonna reload it. If your ribbon has a right and a wrong side to it, make sure you're winding your ribbon with the right side face up. To make sure you have enough ribbon loaded, check out the embroidery and hit the color block and it's gonna tell you exactly how much you need. Next, what I want you to do is find the gray piece on your hoop that has an arrow. And from the bottom, you're gonna push up and it's gonna be a little window. And now you're gonna put the end of your ribbon in here and click it back down and that's gonna keep your ribbon secure. And now you can go ahead and wind your ribbon all the way around the hoop. I'm gonna do this about 10 times. Now I have my hoop wound with the ribbon and I went ahead and cut it and now we can click it into the unit. So I wanna make sure that the unit is going clockwise. I'm gonna go ahead and set it in here and then we're gonna push this down to click it into place to make sure it's secure. And then the end of our ribbon is going to go in the slit right here and flip it upside down. And now we're gonna put it through these holes. So we're gonna go in and then we're gonna come back up. And now we are ready to ribbon embroider. The next step is gonna be taking off the presser foot ankle. So grab your little screwdriver utility key here. And you're also gonna to have to grab this piece which was in with the embroidery unit. So we want to remove this white piece that's on the sewing machine. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this. We're gonna take that piece off. So now we're gonna slip this piece on and then we're gonna go ahead and put the screw back on nice and tight. And there we go. Now we've got that attachment on and we can put the spaceship embroidery unit on. One last thing before we click the unit on is making sure it's fully threaded. So make sure it's going under in this little slit here. So we wanna go right in there. And then notice how this moves around a lot. We really wanna secure it. So there's this disc here and you can take it and make it the size of your ribbon. So you want it to be nice and secure in there. 
So notice how we've made that smaller and now our ribbon isn't moving everywhere. It has a nice guide. So now what we're gonna do is make sure your needle is up as high as it can go and your foot is up as well. And now right here where this red, these two little red dots are and this red opening is, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the attachment and like very, very carefully go ahead and put this in here. And now, back here, way back here, we're gonna go ahead and slide this on. So just pull it towards you like your feet click on. This is also just gonna click on. You have two little spots to click on to. Now it's on, so easy. Next, we need to plug the unit in to the back of the machine. And it just clicks in real nice and easy. There we go. Now we want to select our ribbon embroidery design. So first we have to go to embroidery, and then we're gonna go to surfaced embroidery, and now we're gonna select ribbon embroidery attachment. And now you're gonna have all your designs that pop up here that you can choose from for ribbon embroidery. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the one that says love you, number 10. And now it's gonna go ahead and pop up on the screen. Hit the check button. So I'm gonna rotate my design, which is super easy. We're just gonna put our finger on the circle and we're gonna pull it until the design is even and right where you want it. And now we just need to hoop our fabric. So now I have my fabric hoop and we are ready to hit the go button and attach the embroidery hoop. Let's do it. So let's go ahead and put our hoop right in place. We're just gonna slide it in here. We're gonna click, there we go. Make sure you get all your other fabric out of the way if you're doing a bigger garment or a bigger piece of fabric. Make sure you don't have any fabric caught under your embroidery hoop. Make sure everything is nice and clear. Now it's gonna tell you that this design is for the ribbon embroidery attachment, but we already know that. So go ahead and hit the check button. And now we get to hit the start button, which means our ribbon embroidery is gonna start and I'm so excited to watch this. Let's go ahead and hit start and embroider it out. the way it took the ribbon and it swirled it around and it made these letters. This is so fun. And I actually love this little loop of ribbon where it started and I'm gonna leave it just like that. We did it, we finished. It looks so good. This is such a fun, easy technique to use. I love it. I can't wait to try more of these designs out that are in the machine. And I can't wait to start ribbon embroidering everything. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And if you liked the video, make sure you share it with your friends and show them how cool this ribbon embroidery attachment is. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at Sewing Anastasia and Anastasia Chatska so you can check out all my work in the design studio and all of my awesome designs. And if you're in Chicago, come take a sewing class with me. I also do a lot of one day classes and weekend classes if you wanna to come to Chicago and take a class with me. I also design custom clothes so you can always have me make you something custom for your wardrobe. Make sure you check out my website, AnastasiaChatska.com, and you can see all the digital patterns, sewing notions, and sewing classes that I offer. Thanks so much for watching.